Right, so done the usual spreadsheet. So this is our costs for the whole year? The whole it? year, up to, well up to the end of November, because last year I did it up to the end of November. Okay. Um, so, and I sort of split them into things like um, accessories, um, toll fees, ferry costs, that sort of thing, fuel, yeah. uh, gas that we bought, habitation service, insurance and tracker, so that's okay. the insurance for the van and the tracker with Sarge into it, which is the can Swift I, Command. Can I just blow my nose? Because it's cold in here. <laughs> I've put the heating on, but we normally keep it on 10 degrees. And... Right, so yeah. insurance and tracker then. Insurance and tracker. So the insurance itself was 71619. For, for this is all? This is from the 1st of August. 2020 to next July. Insurance for the van. Yeah. 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 So this is the safeguard. This is for the year. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, and the sergeant for the tracker, 135. I think it's gone up. It's gone it? up. Yeah. And on the for the first three years, I think it was like 96, 96 a year uh, was the tracker and the um, the data for the sim. Yeah. Yeah, and it's now 135 after the third year. I don't know why they put it up. No. But, uh, but obviously, it means I know I can track the motome um, if it get mo it gets moved for any reason. It's yeah. also useful if you park in a car park and you can't remember where you parked. parked. <laughs> we can do it at the NEC. <laughs> Well, I think you could do that with a van. I suppose there were a lot of vans. Well, there were a lot so. of motorhomes there. So. Yeah, I mean, we've done it with a car, haven't we? Yeah. Can't find the car yeah, in that car right. park. Yeah, so then I've got meals out. And what, what do you think was the first meal out we had in this year? Well, uh, <laughs> I can say what it was. It's where we were with Trev and Sue. Yeah, yeah, at the Odd Clock Cafe in Milton Mowbray. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. And the last... Did we sit outside? No, we didn't. No, we didn't sit outside. No, we went no. inside. No, it was in no. January, wasn't it? Yeah, and yeah. the last one we had was at the White Lion in Ambleside. All oh, right, with yeah. Glenn and Sharon with and Glenn Steve and, Sharon. and Barbara. That's yeah. right, yeah. Uh, so we've been to several museums during the You didn't the say year. how much it was. What, how much all the meals were? Right. I'll gloss over that. <laughs> it was £2,184.79. How much? <laughs> God. God, you talk. <sighs> yeah. um, and then we've been to some museums. Um, went to the Verilanium Museum. Obviously, we pay, we're pay. we members of English Heritage, so we don't pay. So for, these are the ones we've paid for? These are the ones we've paid yeah. for, £176.90. It yeah, would be an awful lot more, I think, if we were paying for the English Heritage and National Trust. That's right. So yeah. I, I really do recommend if you if you like museums and you like history and everything, really join in at English Heritage and National Trust. Yeah, because we went to Port Porchester, Pevensey, Battle, and we bought guides there, Old Sarum, yeah. at Salisbury. Yeah. Salisbury, yeah. So that would have cost quite a bit more if we hadn't yeah. been members. Yeah. Uh, little car parking things. Yeah. Um, That's fourteen pounds. Fourteen pounds, yeah. yeah. Um, we. We went to some sites, believe it or not. <laughs> we went to quite a few sites. We had 147 nights away. I think it was 148, roughly, about 150 away all year, which I thought was less than I expected it to be. But Yeah, but we tend to spend about a third of the year away. So Yeah, so it's about right, I yeah. suppose, isn't it? I thought at some years we'd only gone about to, uh, to 115 nights. but Yeah, no, this... So, yeah. Yeah, maybe it was more than yeah. I, th I thought it felt yeah. like more, but yeah. I mean, obviously the, pro the cost of sites is going up, so please, please don't say how much. <laughs> Go on, how much? So we spent four thousand three hundred sixty-two pounds seventy-eight. Yeah, it is. It is quite a lot when you look at it like that. Yeah. But that's hundred and something nights away. That's about hundred and fifty nights away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how much would that cost you in a hotel? Yeah. Or even B and B. Yeah, so that's, I mean, because the Northern Ireland site's over there. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, yeah. Okay. And the tax on the van, yeah. same as previous years. Same as previous years, 65. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's crazy really, the tax situation. We've got a, a van that's over 3,500 kilograms, and we pay less tax than a van that's under 3,000. 500 kilograms. I think it's two. Is it 295 for vans that are under? It's there? two. It's at least 220. I don't know yeah. exactly, but yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, we were lucky really to be on that tax uh, thing that was only 165. So 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, well, they did threaten it was going to be more, didn't they? Brought yeah. it in yeah. for about six months. So yeah. The tax was, once it became... Uh, well, it had a big hit on the sales of motorhomes, yeah, I seem to remember. Yeah, that. and yeah. Then, uh, then it was cancelled. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, vehicle servicing... Um, in total? We, in total, 86144. Obviously, okay. the 560 we just mentioned. Yeah. Plus, um, we had £300 for getting the belts all changed. Yeah. yeah. A little. Uh, so, grand total? Grand 86144. Okay. Yeah. So, I've got a summary which you can put up on the on screen. The screen. Yeah. Um, for the year. Um, one thing I don't think I mentioned was we spent £2,248.23. On accessories, <laughs> and that's anything from toilet rolls to glue to Avtex routers <laughs> to Avtex routers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's over the the whole year. Right. So then I did a the previous year. I I did the two years together because obviously we didn't go away much in no. 2020 for obvious no. reasons, and so I've I've got the figures on this thing you'll put up for the yeah. previous years, yeah. and then the total for the whole three years. Yeah. So the motorhome has cost us over three years buy for this. Da, 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 drum roll. This doesn't include buying it. This no. is just um, uh, running all costs. the various running costs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thirty-six thousand five hundred and seventy-three pounds. God. Oh no, sorry, that's the wrong total. All right, start again. <laughs> <laughs> that's the wrong total. Um, so the motorhome has cost us over three years. Twenty-nine thousand three hundred twenty-three pounds sixty-six. Wow. Yeah. So three years, yeah. Okay. For three years, so it's ten thousand a year, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you might want to compare that to having a rent in a static, I suppose, or a holiday home, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but you've got the vehicle for for you've other got the things, and the thing well. is, you yeah. You have to buy things for it, don't yeah. you? I mean, you have to. You don't have to. Well, but... you don't have to. We well, have to buy fuel, don't you? To... Well, yeah. I think that's about. <laughs> we could, <laughs> we could buy less fuel if you, we didn't go yeah. very far. Yeah. Um, interestingly, gas. Mm. When yeah. we we're often talking about refillable oh, systems yeah. and all that. Yeah. Um, over the the years, the three years, we've spent two hundred fifty three pounds and eight pence on gas. Yeah. Now I've seen refillable systems are about three hundred and fifty to fit let alone to fill yeah yeah so, so we we're would... not spending a huge amount on on gas probably because we're not going off grid a lot no, uh, no. so obviously we're we're spending more on campsites so swings and roundabouts i suppose yeah do you want to know how much you've spent on no i won't mention that on what campsites <laughs> come on then <laughs> no no it's all right <laughs> you don't say no i'll say then come on how much have we said i can't see it then <laughs> You can't see it. <laughs> You've hidden it. Yeah, I've hidden it. No, it's it's that figure there, nine one five four eighty five. All right. Yeah. So it's an average of three thousand a year, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So we spend three thousand pounds on, on campsites. Now, don't say uh, why don't you go off grid or anything. Uh, if we wanted to go off grid, we would have probably gone off grid, a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I mean, the thing is, uh, I think Andrew Ditton says that. Where, wherever you go camping, whatever you go camping in, wherever you stay is your choice. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, whatever people want to do that. And if you want to go doing. off grid, then fine. I've yeah. no problem with that. Why have you got a problem with us going off yeah. uh, camping? And when we get blamed for the campsites. Oh, yeah, that was, that was a classic. <laughs> we get blamed for the prices of campsites as if oh, it's no. our fault. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. yeah so if people wouldn't pay it if. They, if uh, no, well, if, if that's... They'd stop going, Yeah, they? that's right. Yeah. It's supply and demand, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, right. So um, you're expecting a load of trouble with this comment, are you? <laughs> <laughs> that's why I don't want to mention yeah. it. I'm just going to delete you if you're horrible. <laughs> well, we have... I mean, the second um, biggest thing is accessories, yeah. right? Yeah. And then fuel, Yeah. okay? Which we spent 5,000 on fuel. Mm. Like I say, if we only... We didn't go far. No. Um, and how many miles have we done? You don't, you don't know, do you? Uh, well, it, according to the MOT, it's 18,911 miles. OK, yeah, so we've done 18,000 miles. It's not as much as we would have done if there hadn't been a lockdown, of course. No, no, mm. when we were only going yeah. sort of in the local area. And the cost of diesel is just ridiculous, I will will admit to that. I mean, mm. it's, 100, it's still 180-something, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so obviously that... I mean, looking at the two years, you 
uh, it's, a, it's difficult, but the period before 2020, 2021, yeah. we've spent just 3,000 odd on fuel, just yeah. well, yeah. 3,000. In the West year alone, we've spent 2,342. Right, right. Yeah, so obviously so, yeah. we didn't go as far in those months, but diesel was cheaper, wasn't it? Yeah, well, as it was well. something like 130, wasn't it? Or, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yep. they're the things that sort of stand out. And, you mm -hmm. know, um, we could cut down on meals out. You know, we? 4,000. Didn't feel like it. <laughs> no, so we could do. We could cut down on meals, meals out. out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so that that's basic. I mean, it's cost us over 1,000, 1,173 to service the van over yeah. three years. Yeah. Um, then what I've... I don't know whether to mention this either, but... Um, it has been it. A, it's been a great help. Um, people watching the videos and commenting and looking at the adverts or I, I, putting I, up with the adverts. Well, that's right. Yeah. 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 I mean, to be honest, we probably wouldn't be doing as many campsites if we weren't getting the YouTube income. Mm. So we hope that us going to campsites is actually useful for people who want to have a look at what a campsite's like before. They go there, yeah, so we do yeah. get a lot of people who are grateful that we do do that. So the income we get from YouTube allows us to do that. So um, so yeah. thank you for everyone who's subscribed, who watches, who goes through the adverts. and Yeah, yeah. And if I see another advert for EcoFlow <laughs> <laughs> and all those sort of comments. Yes, <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So do you want me to say how much? Yeah, go on then, go for it. This has been a 2022. We've had sixteen thousand five hundred thirty-four pounds sixty yeah. from YouTube, wow. um, which has got has gone up from. I think we've mentioned a figure before about five thousand. Yeah. So yeah, and if it anyone's who who's looking at trying to get something from YouTube, I, my advice to you is make a load of videos. Um, some of the videos we've made probably are. Uh, you know, not our best videos, but just keep going, making videos and trying to improve all the time and mm. you will get an income from it. Uh, it's like any other job, you have to work at it. I mean, it was very slow, wasn't it, the, the first year? I it think still I, is a bit slow, I think, isn't it? Yeah. I, think, I think I mentioned before that the very first NEC show we did, we earned not enough to even buy a cup of coffee, did we? No, no. So, you know, you have to sort of stick at it and you couldn't, I mean, that if that was your only income, you would be struggling, wouldn't you? Well, that's right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I think we that. said that the the income from YouTube pays for the site fees. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I can I can understand why people go off grid because obviously if you went to that many campsites all the time, then yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to afford it. Most people wouldn't be able to afford it. Or people go on rallies like Robin yeah. Lynn. Yeah. And we've not yeah. always been well off. No, no, and I think I've famously said, haven't yeah, I, that yeah. we used to, I used to have thirty pounds. I was juggling about, so mm, mm. know what it's like. We know what it's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we're lucky. We're, and we're very lucky to be in this position where we sit in a motorhome and waffle for ages. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Someone pays us some money to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so thank so, you for everyone who supported yeah. us throughout the years. We do appreciate, appreciate it. it. Definitely and, do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and people who've bought things from a from our little, from little shop. Little shop. Oh yeah. yeah. By by the way, have a look at our little shop. We we've done a few additions to it, and uh, so a couple of people had asked for things like wine glasses and gin glasses and things like that. And beer mugs. And beer mugs. I mean, you yeah. can have my signature on it if you if you, if you so so <laughs> desire to have it. But um, design and personalise the people who run run our shop effectively for us. We'll do. Um, engravings and things like that on all sorts of different uh, glasses and everything. So if you want something that's personalised to you rather than than our merchandise, then you know, have a look at what what they're offering. That's on on the same website, is it? Yeah, they've, they've got examples, some examples yeah. on there. But if you yeah. contact uh, Design and Personalise, they they can probably do something special for you as well. So, yeah, the and that's design. that's why they're Design and Personalise. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, a big thank you to uh, to Andrew and, and Jeanette for uh, mm. suggesting it. In the suggesting first place it. Yeah. And, yeah, and doing all all this for us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The the only other thing I was going to mention is this YouTube handle. Oh, God, yeah. 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 yeah um, Sorry. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we we YouTube introduced this thing called a handle, and it's like Twitter. So my Twitter handle is uh, at Bob Earnshaw. Uh, my YouTube handle is at Bob Earnshaw Moho, 
And that the reason for that is all those years ago, five years ago, when they were setting up a channel name, I never thought it how popular it was going to be. So no, I couldn't no. ha couldn't have just Bob Earnshaw, what uh, you know, whatever. I could have Bob Earnshaw one two six seven or something, you know, yeah, uh, or, or some random number that YouTube would allocate. So I put Bob Earnshaw Moho, you know, thinking that was clever. Yeah, and, and to be honest, I think, I think it's a bit <laughs> deaf. But uh, when I went to look to see if I could get Bob Earnshaw on its own, someone had already got it. So uh, if you do see uh, someone who's commenting called Bob Earnshaw yeah. on his own, yeah, it's not me. It's not you. Now at least, at least it's more of well, it's, it's more obvious now yeah. than when we had that awful impersonator because yeah. he got your icon, he got your name. Yeah. You know, and, and you, you look the same. You, I fell for it. I thought it was you, yeah, and it, yeah. it wasn't. Because they'll have the same picture and, and all of yeah, that. So, yeah. But the, at least with handles, they can't have the same... Can't have the same handle, same no. Same handle, no. No, yeah. so it's the moho bit at the end. Yeah. Confirms it's you. Yeah. Yeah. So we landed on the, the roof, the, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I, I think we've probably gone on way, way too long, eh? Yeah, we have probably, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, if you've been watching this far, have we got any, anything else to add? No, 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 no. that was it. I will make sure okay. I said Better all check. that. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, if you've been watching this far, thanks for watching, and we'll catch up with you in, a, in the next one. Uh, I'm not sure what that's going to be. It's probably going to, going to be um, looking at our router or looking at uh, something else we bought. Yeah, or it, us arriving at uh, Oxen Hall, whichever yeah. comes first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're threatening the beasts from the east, aren't they? Oh, joy. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that stays away yeah. until we get back. So fortunately those duvelets that we bought... Well, well we probably might need them might if need he them, really yeah. does come. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, so thanks for watching and we'll catch up with you soon. Yeah. Yeah, okay. bye then. Bye then. You want to do that with a bit more... Um... Bye we'll then. We'll do this at the same time. <laughs> bye, bye then. then. <laughs>